Okay, let's dive into what I eat in a week to feel light and energized. For breakfast, I'm having a bowl of matcha coconut porridge. Oatmeal is a great choice for breakfast because it's high in fiber and protein, which will keep you feeling full and satisfied until your next meal. The matcha adds a great energy boost and is full of healthy antioxidants, while the coconut provides healthy fats and a tasty flavor. And of course, coffee. Ah, oh, isn't the smell of fresh coffee just the best? So one of the things I do normally, or at least I try <laughs> my best, is to eat mindfully. So to really like take a moment before I have my food and like just be with my food, be with my coffee, not be on my phone, not be on my laptop, really taste the food. Because we eat so often, like so quickly and like so much on autopilot. And first of all, you consume more calories that way, right? You often overeat without even noticing it. You're not actually really feeling satisfied and then you will want to eat more and more and more because you haven't actually had the feeling of satisfaction. Yay, finally time for my lunch break. Today I'm making a quick, simple green veggie and egg stir fry. Okay, this might be a little bit weird, but I love it. I'm adding fresh sauerkraut, which is a great fermented food full of probiotics for promoting a healthy gut. And I love eating kohlrabi as a little starter. Yes, I know this is very German of me. <laughs> I like to have dessert, I mean, who doesn't? And I love making a Greek yogurt bowl and decaffeinated coffee because I try not to drink caffeine after 12 p.m. This is my boyfriend Dave and he's making dinner, good man. It's one of my faves, red curry with tofu. And honestly, I used to hate tofu, but it was just because I just didn't know how to make it. It's important to drain the water and it's best baked in the oven. I love this red curry. And what I always do is like, I always eat cauliflower rice. Really delicious. I don't really miss the rice and I don't feel like really like pff, full afterwards. Work is not done yet. I'm editing my latest YouTube video and having homemade rhubarb crumble for dessert. So it's the evening now and I'm just prepping my breakfast for tomorrow and I wanted to show you what I'm gonna make so basically I'm gonna make overnight oats I'm gonna use some soy yogurt and I'm gonna put some chia seeds in there some oats morning okay so I'm literally still in my gym clothes as I prepared my lovely breakfast yesterday overnight protein oats put some raspberries in some more seeds okay let's check how thick it is Oh my god, look at that. That's because of the chire seeds. It gets like really thick. Oh my god. I don't know how people can live without coffee. Like, I don't understand how people are like, oh, I'm not gonna drink coffee. It's life. It's literally giving me life. So when I have my breakfast in the morning, I love to do also some journaling. So I have this like six minute journal where you like talk about your gratitude and you have like some prompts in there, which I really love. But then I also do like normal, just free flow journaling. I try to do it every day. Honestly, if it's just a sentence, that's already enough. But you just kind of want to get into the habit of doing it. I'm just heating up the curry from last night and have it with, again, sauerkraut and kohlrabi. I'm trying to prioritize fiber, especially veggies and protein in my meals, then add complex carbs and healthy fats. Now it's healthy dessert time. Low fat quark, that's like a really thick yogurt kind of thingy. I love PB2. It has a lot less calories, a lot less fat, but it's still high in protein and I actually really like it. The only diamond side is, it's really hard to get. I got this from Amazon and it's expensive. Well, like, this costs like 16 euros. Honestly, I just cannot control myself around nut butter. Like it's really hard for me to not overeat it. It's always best to set your environment up to support your goals. If you you have food in your house where you just really feel drawn to or you really like tend to overeat on just don't have it in the house you want to set your environment up for success for dinner i made these japanese inspired pancakes i mean they look like shit but they were so good you need to try fried brussels sprouts with soy sauce and sesame your life will never be the same Dessert was a little ice lolly while working on my content. As a side hustling content creator, I need to find time where I can and it's normally in the morning before work or after dinner. Okay, so this morning started a little bit dramatic. Ta-da! Oh shit. Anyway, for breakfast I had blueberry proats. It's just a high protein blueberry porridge. 
For lunch, I had a simple egg and veggie stir fry. I wasn't particularly hungry. I'm so busy with work today. I have literally no time to do anything. Just like throw in some eggs, throw in some veggies. I always have frozen veggies. And also I don't like to eat like really heavy things for lunch. Don't like to eat a lot of like dough or like sandwiches and stuff because I always feel sluggish and it just doesn't make me feel good. I like to add my snack as a dessert after a meal so I stay within three meals a day and don't raise my blood sugar in between meals. That's just a way for me to have stable energy throughout the day. This is one of my classic meals and basically it's the sauce that makes the dish. For the stir fry sauce you need miso paste, tamari or soy sauce, rice wine vinegar, black sesame paste. You can also use white sesame paste which is basically tahini. Also quick tip, I'm using these edamame noodles. These are so so much higher in protein. They don't spike your blood sugar as much as rice noodles. I'm using this almond tofu, which has a great firm consistency. Tofu is just a great plant-based protein source in general. I love making my own popcorn. I don't use oil and I just add some nutritional yeast and salt at the end. It's a super quick, high fiber, low calorie snack and I love having a decaffeinated coffee after dinner. Honestly, caffeine free coffee is changing my life. Day, I really feel like I need energy and need to be able to focus. For mental clarity, I love having a breakfast focusing on protein, non-starchy fiber and healthy fats. My go-to brekkie are just eggs and a Greek yogurt bowl and low sugar food. It's lunchtime now. We don't have that much left, but I don't really have time to go out because I'm really busy today. We have chickpeas and I'm gonna make some hummus. Hummus is super easy to make. Normally I make it with tahini. I don't really have tahini, so we're just gonna make it without. You can use the chickpea water as like a tahini substitute. Homemade hummus is so easy to make and has no added sugars or preservatives like starboard sometimes has. And sometimes I'm just throwing things together for lunch in a bowl and add some kind of dressing. Guys, this is one of my favorite desserts. Just leave quark or Greek yogurt mixed with some protein powder in the freezer for at least 30 minutes and then add warm blueberries. It's literally like ice cream. I love being a little bit more experimental on weekends, so let's make some sweet potato brekkie bowl. You just cook the sweet potato the night before and have it with Greek yogurt, fruits and nuts in the morning. When you let the sweet potato and normal potato cool, the starches turn into resistant starches, which is a great food for your gut bacteria. It's such a beautiful spring day and Dave is coming back from work so we can have lunch together. I'm roasting some cauliflower. Honestly guys, roasted cauliflower is the best. I'm making one of my go-tos which are super simple, one ingredient high fiber wraps. You just need to let a cup of red lentils soak in two cups of water for at least four hours and then blend everything into a mixture. Ta-da! The weather is so good and I finally have time to go outside for a walk in the sunshine. And guess what? I'm getting some lemon cheesecake ice cream because, I mean, ice cream is the dream. But I'm such a rhyme goddess. It's Saturday and oh my god, it is such a beautiful day. All you need is oat flour, a little bit of spelt flour, a flex egg, baking powder and quark or Greek yogurt. I'm also making scrambled eggs and some vegan chicken that we still had in the fridge. Got them from Ali and they are pretty good and don't have a lot of added stuff in them like other vegan meat alternatives. After brunch, we're out and about in Berlin doing some shopping and enjoying the sun. And then we found this absolute sanctuary in the center of Berlin Mitte, but away from all the hustle and bustle. For dinner, we've decided to go Greek style with vegan gyros made from jackfruit. I also make homemade tzatziki and I'm also making these homemade naans, aka gyros bread. That's how I called it. And I mean a little apro spritz because it's Saturday night. And then we go for a little digestion walk. Walking after a meal helps you regulate blood sugar and obviously helps your digestion. We're on the way to my favorite ice cream spot in Berlin and I guess I'm not the only one who likes it here because it's a huge queue. You get a big scoop and I always get pistachio. 
I hope that you found some inspiration and ideas for your own meals now. Remember, healthy eating doesn't have to be complicated or restrictive. By focusing on whole nutritious foods and finding what works for your body, you can fuel yourself in a way that leaves you feeling energized and satisfied. And remember, it's okay to indulge and enjoy your favorite foods in moderation. If you're still here at the end of the video, thank you. I'm so happy you're here. And feel free to subscribe or follow my IG for more healthy eating content and recipes. And you can get more great videos here.